We're going to the zoo. I can't help but think about that old song when looking at the future of Yu-Gi-Oh. We can stay all day, going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to too, We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. What's up, guys? It's Nick Show here. So, Zodiacs came out yesterday for the TCG, and it's time to see if they will really wreak havoc on the meta, and whether or not they'll truly become the, the next dominant deck uh, for the next few months. Not only does the deck have the potential uh, to be the next mainstream deck, but it also offers an amazing engine for countless decks. And as we saw in the OCG, it creates a variation in how uh, the deck is played. Um, and so people have the tendency to compare Zodiacs to Pepe before the emergency last, uh, last year. And uh, some think Konami is ready to like hit the deck like a few weeks after release because there's some money-sucking scumbags. But what I believe is that uh, Zodiacs have way more versatility and variance of use, so it may not be hit as fast as people think. Um, I've been in this game a long time, and I can tell you, uh, Konami takes longer to hit certain cards when they can be like more generic. And uh, it's due to really it, the fact that it's not just for one deck, it's um, a card or cards that can be used by multiple decks. So rather than making one deck stronger, it uh, helps multiple decks get stronger, which can sometimes spice it up a uh, metagame rather than like dumbing it down. And so if you're a non-budget player, um, you're either going to love or hate like the next few months of, uh, <laughs> of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, really based on like how much you like or hate uh, Zodiacs, because um, Zodiacs are um, pretty much going to be what can be considered the best deck for the next few months moving forward. Like there are gonna be a lot of, it, it is gonna have competition, but for the most part, for right now, uh, most, I, I do believe that um, Zodiacs are gonna be the best deck moving forward. So um, they are gonna have competition, as I said, like uh, moving forward, like uh, Pet Bay after the emergency list, um, it was still top tier but um, it still had like other competitors with it, like uh, Monarchs and Cosmo were still pretty big um, back around, that was like February of last year. So it was literally like last year, like a year ago. Um, and with uh, Zodiacs being the next best thing, um, the next best thing will be a, a Eidolon, or as they're called in the TCG, the Invoked, which if you didn't know is probably even way more generic um, than Zodiacs are, and uh, some variants have like the power to really stand up to Zodiacs. Uh, the most notable being the Windwitch Eidolon, and uh, due to how generic um, Eidolon is, like the possibilities of uh, the deck's um, builds will pre pretty much be endless because you could pretty much mix it with anything. It's like um, I'm hearing Eidolon Blue Eyes, Eidolon Cyber Dragon, Eidolon Shira New Eye. Um, there's, there's like a whole bunch of builds out there, man. And I'm telling you, dude, that deck is going to have see a lot of play. Um, even if it's not by, like, even if it's not going to be, like, tournament ready for some decks. Like, I even saw an Eidolon Dark Magician deck in my uh, Super Heavy Samurai replay um, that I uploaded a few days ago. And uh, so not only Eidolons, um, we'll be having uh, True Dracos or True Kings. Like, we'll have the full deck um, in Maximum Crisis, which comes out in a few months. And uh, they do share a resemblance to Dino Rulers as well. Um, and their rank 9, I'm telling you, their rank 9 is broken. Um, so, as well as uh, the Dino structure uh, that's coming out, uh, it's coming out the end of the month of this month for Japan. So we don't know how um, it's going to affect the meta yet. But for us, it's coming out like mid-April, which is pretty nice. Um... And, you know, that deck is going to break some ankles. I'm, I'm telling you right now, that deck looks pretty strong from what uh, we've seen so far. There are a few builds with it. Um, and, you know, I mean, seriously, have you ever laid your eyes on a creature as beautiful as Ultimate Conductor Sirano? Like, I have not laid my eyes on a creature as beautiful as that thing. Um, <laughs> but uh, last but, la but not least, you know, like another competitor of Zodiacs is probably going to be DDD. Um, now, call me crazy, but I still think the deck still can do something. A lot of people have just been so quick to just um, forget the deck, like, right after. Like, they said, that, okay, so it's going to be relevant once 
three reacts come out. I'm like, you know, this deck really isn't that bad. If you can make a Siegfried and a Crystalling first turn, I, I do still believe that you have a lot of potential. And uh, Metal Flows as well, um, I don't think they're going to be completely dead. Um, there might even be a few Z uh, Zodiac uh, Metal Flow builds, so um, we'll have to see about that. And, um, you know, despite all these um, utter decks coming out, um, Zodiacs will still be, in my opinion, the safest deck of the format. Um, it's like the safest battle of what, what can be considered the best deck of the format, and the deck I believe will take the most events. Now, you know, this is all uh, opinion-based, and, you know, it's just what I think. But, um, it's all my budget players, uh, s stuck in a fray of what you're gonna do, you know. ZDX is gonna be expensive. Um, Eidolons, I don't know how expensive they're gonna be, but, um, I've seen a few builds of, like, Eidolon Blue Eyes. Um, and if you already have all the Blue Eyes stuff, then the Eidolon stuff might not be that expensive. Because I heard that, um, Alistair, um, he's gonna be a super. That's what I heard. And if that's true, and if the fusion card is a super too, then the, the deck won't be hard to make. Hopefully, um, let's just hope that the uh, the light fusion um, isn't that expensive as well. It might be if it's a secret, but if it's not, then it may be like four or five at most. Um, but you know, either way, I don't really think budget players attend events that much often. Um, so. Uh, um, I do, like, I do fear your pain, but it's like, y you don't really affect the metagame, you know, it's like, uh, when you're a budget player, you kind of really play, like, what you have, you know, you may not really care about topping, like, regionals or YCS, like, you may just go to locals and play locals, you're gonna see a lot of Zodiacs there anyway, but, um, I'm just saying, just prepare for it, um, you know, like, I'm out here playing Paleozoic Ninjas, um, until, like, the dino structure that comes out, so, I, I mean, I kind of understand <laughs> what you're going through, but, um, uh, I mean, the dino structure deck is a good option for, um, budget players, but, you know, for all of you who really just don't feel like taking Zodiacs, I feel, honestly, it's just, like, nobody's gonna get mad at you for taking a break for, from the game for, like, a few months, because there are a lot of decks coming out in the next few months that can stand up to Zodiacs. Um, so, I mean, maybe you can wait for that deck to come out. Like, maybe just take a small break. Uh, just gather all the cards you need right now. And then um, make the deck when everything comes out. Or you can do what I'm doing, which is pretty much what I just said. But I'm just waiting until April for the Dino Structure deck. And then that's when I can start playing again. Um, but... Um, just, you know, just looking at builds for what, you know, your deck can do, um, and, you know, just, uh, making sure that, uh, you, you know how your deck, um, can face the meta, like, you know, like, what to play, what to side deck, but, you know, when I say, you know, you sit from a distance, obviously, that means you watch carefully, you know, you see what's topping, you see what works, you see what doesn't, you see what, um, some new expensive staples, if, if there are any. Um, in the next few months that may come out, but, um, yeah, so, you know, that's just my opinion on what the next few months of Yu-Gi-Oh! are going to be like because of Zodiacs, um, they are still the best deck, I, I don't know exactly how Zodiacs play, like, I have not actually watched, um, too many Zodiac lists. like, I just know they can just make a big board first turn, like, I've seen a lot of builds, like, I haven't seen those, like, uh, hybrid um, Cyber Angel builds when um, the the deck first got shown on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. So, um, I do understand that the deck is pretty broken. Um, and I do think, again, it is going to be... <laughs> is it, this is going to be a cr pretty crazy format. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I, I guess that's it for now. Um, you know, just tell me what you guys think as well. Um, so, uh, this was Nisha here, Nisha out.